What's up YouTube? This is our Bonnaroo prep vlog. So I know that we have not talked in literally forever. I've been kind of just very busy. I have been living my life down here in Florida and honestly it's not more of the filming side of YouTube, it's more of the editing side that I just not have not gotten to. So anyway, we'll talk about that later. We are talking all things Bonnaroo. It is Wednesday now. We are leaving for our journey to Bonnaroo on Monday, but I'm gonna start my Bonnaroo prep today. So right now we're at the gym, we're about to hit some cardio, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna do 30 minutes of incline walk, but then we are going to Trader Joe's to pick up some little snackies. So we will talk after cardio. The more protein you can get, the better. So we got some chopsticks. I got like all of the flavors. Speaking of protein, I got some Bear Bells. So just like three of those. I'm not typically a protein bar girl because they kind of bloat me a bit, but um, we got some just because they're easy protein for on the go. I'm also a fan of gummy, like fruit snacks. So I got sour Scandinavian swimmers for Bonnaroo just because like I obviously like would not normally eat this stuff but um it's good because we're on vacation and fuck it right and then I got like non-sour gummies then we have some dried mango with no added sugar some cooking spray olive oil cooking spray and then I got two of my favorite little coconut drinks from Trader Joe's, we love those. They're so good, coconut is antimicrobial and I just love it, it's literally just like the coconut water blended with the coconut meat. So there's that. And then I also got little succulents, not for Bonnaroo, but I am like collecting succulents in my kitchen, my kitchen window. <laughs> All right guys, it is later now it's about we just ate dinner so it's about like 5 30 6 o'clock i am going to show you guys some of my outfits we might do a little try on i was thinking i was either gonna do the try on after i got my braids done or right now because like if you see me with the braids and the outfits that's gonna be the full effect you'll have to wait for the next video so we're gonna do a little bit of like a try on. I'm gonna try on some pieces because Bonnaroo is going to get a little bit chilly at night. I live in Florida, it's hot as shit here. So the lows at Bonnaroo this year look to be like in the 60s, so low 60s to mid 60s. Um, so that's gonna be really cold for me because we're used to like lows in the set high 70s right now, so. Yeah, we're going to figure out like some layering pieces. I'm gonna give you guys some like keys to like how to layer your outfits and still look cute. I mean, sometimes it's cute to like not look cute too, but yeah. If it looks smoky in here, it's because I just made, <laughs> I just made chicken burgers and I don't know why, but like it gets, it gets really smoky. Okay, so Tuesday, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this or not because the bottoms are a bit small. But Tuesday is kind of like the we are just getting there day. Okay, so hear me out. I'm going for like a, like kind of like a goth girl, like a goth girl look, but like with blue because they were sold out of the, they were sold out of the black skull bikini that I wanted. We have a little spike collar. I don't, I think I'm gonna change the, see my little, also, little glove thingies. I think I'm going to change the bottoms though because I just feel like I don't like them. They're just not it. This is much better. Okay, so Tuesday, like I said, we're going for like a, okay, so picture my braids. 
So I'll show you the color of my braids. They're going to be red with tinsel. But before I show you that, just picture this outfit. So I'm like, we got the little goth, like alternative girl accessories. We got the spiked collar. Um, we're going for like just an edgy, just different kind of look. We have a red, beautiful red tinsel hair. So, she's not my favorite outfit, but it doesn't have to be the favorite because it's a Tuesday outfit. So, I might also add, like, I don't know, like some fishnets or something to for the bottom to spice up the bottom. So step one into making a festival outfit warmer, we have pashminas because they're so versatile. You can wrap yourself in them. A lot of times when it gets cold, I'd be like this and I do not move. Or you put it over your head if you're not feeling very, you know, social, whatever. Yes, pashminas, a must. You can lay them out, sit on them. I do that. Some people don't want to get them dirty, but I really don't care because everything's getting dirty at a festival. So. We'll definitely be taking just this black pashmina as an extra layer. Another layer that you can add that's really cute is the um, the little leg warmers. And I happen to wear them during the day when it's hot too just because they're, they're really cute. So we love those. Uh, I have those with a couple of my outfits actually. And then a third thing you can add that I could add to this outfit would be just the fishnets. I know that that's obviously not like super warm clothing, but um, it's something and it's just an extra little layer. So I'm going to show you another option I have for this outfit because I think Tuesday night is going to be cold or Wednesday, one of the two. Um, so let me show you another thing that I got. So we could also go this route. These pants are actually very hot though. They have like no ventilation, but as you can see, maybe you can't see, I'm gonna shine a light on them. They are the reflective pants and they're kind of like supposed to be like parachute-y, but so I kind of wish they were a different material, but then you wouldn't get the reflective part. So it is what it is. I have other parachute pants I could wear that are reflective, so. But it's a festival, when am I gonna wear these? Okay, maybe you can see, see how it would be like reflective at night. You guys have all seen the pants like this. Anyway, we're going to move on to Wednesday. Okay, totally switching gears, but we're going to do a Wook Wednesday or Wook Wednesday, however you say it, I don't even know. But um, of course, I had to do Pashmina under the bucket hat, so it's kind of like a, like obviously, I don't normally dress like this at festivals, but I'm like, you know, it's kind of cute and it's fun. So like, I told our whole group, I'm like, we gotta do this and make this like the theme of the day. Cause you know, if you go to festivals, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, but we have like, I bought like a million sprout clips, so we have tons of those. So that's like, I feel like with this type of like style, it's like as much accessories as possible. So I have a lot of other accessories that I just don't want to put on right now for this little try on but um i had this ls dream pashmina and then a bonnaroo shirt from two years ago with mushrooms on it. it's kind of faded so i'm thinking like big big t-shirt uh dog martins and then the ultimate third eye glasses so i'm excited for this outfit actually it's totally like not what I normally would do. So, we love her. I'm also going to tell my brother to grab my ski goggles because I feel like that would also be funny. And I also have the kaleidoscope goggles too. We have options, we have too many options. This is Wednesday's outfit um, to make it warmer at night. Let me look. I have these ridiculous orange parachute pants. And I also have another pair of white parachute pants, so we gonna pack them both. So like, yeah, I'm thinking. It looks ridiculous, but LOL, LOL. It looks ridiculous, but 
I like it. Okay, so getting into the actual festival outfit. So this is Thursday's outfit. I think I, yeah, this is Thursday's outfit. Um, so this one is Ben, my problem child, because one, I wanted to do, so my vision was like a denim, little tiny micro skirt, you know, fun festival-y uh, with like a denim top, kind of like this one. This one's a swimsuit, um, the one I bought off of Amazon. I bought, like most of my outfits were somewhat small business. I tried to anyway, but um, some of the stuff, like this skirt's from Amazon, it had a belt, like it's very cheap feeling. Um, it did have a belt and then I exchanged it for this one just because I can get it to stay up a little bit better. This, you know, the skirt works just fine. The top works fine. It is comfy. It's not the exact denim pattern, but it is what it is. Now the real problem comes to the leg warmers in this. So these I ordered off of Amazon and they're just like fucking like I don't even know what they are. I don't understand how to really wear them or style them because they're just so strange. So I am going to try, they're just like weird shape. I'm going to try to make my own, so maybe this weekend. So I'll take you guys along for that. So I did have, I'm like missing a pair of glasses. I have a pair of like Y2K glasses with the star on the side, they're clear. So picture that. But I also got, I also got these cute little yellow glasses. Um, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to find those. So, so this is Thursday's fit. I haven't really thought about how I can keep myself warm in this outfit. Also, trying to pair some like large, thin hoop earrings with this, and also maybe like some ribbon tied in my hair. That's another vision for this outfit. This is a full mirror effect. Okay, this is gotta be one of my favorites because um, we're putting it on Friday. So this one was actually the one that I started designing first. So we have, I will tie this better. Um, but it's like a little so these are these are all almost everything is from a small business on Etsy so this little strawberry top and then our little our little shrug this is that this little skirt thing was from Amazon because I couldn't find something that fit because I wanted something cheeky in the back and then like a skirt kind of I didn't want just like a plain red swimsuit bottom um, and then we have little strawberry bag I do have my leg warmers we'll probably pair these with docks or the other boots although the other my favorite boots are like breaking so it's kind of sad and then the cheap the cheapest fucking pair of sunglasses that i could ever find on amazon like literally i didn't try to buy <laughs> yeah everything on amazon i feel like sucks um anyway very hit or miss um and then oh the little strawberry bucket hat that's also from etsy move this back so this one is gonna be comment. I also have little strawberry earrings and I feel like the hair is definitely gonna tie it all together because I look like I have no hair now because my hair is gross in a bun so okay so this is the Kill Bill outfit this is gonna be for Saturday I love this outfit it's really comfortable i feel like i don't have to worry about anything i mean i actually bought this this is from coco coco fields boutique um, but i'm gonna also wear like leg garters for this outfit and then sword earrings but we have also these little sheer so they don't make me too hot during the day little sheer uh, moment i don't know what they're called arm sleeve or whatever okay so i ended up finding my sunglasses they were under my hair my festival hair so these are the y2k ones we're not wearing with this outfit i'm probably gonna wear these ones um hold on i'm not quite finished with this outfit yet okay so i need to find the earrings but we're gonna go with so this is sunday so think about sunday at a festival that we've been there all fucking week that we're gonna be pretty exhausted so this is like really comfortable um it goes with my red i actually really like it and i was thinking about moving this one to tuesday but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'm trying to find my cherry earrings. 
And I also got some other little cute accessories. I have some bows. Here's this year's wristband. This year's wristband. I really like the colors of this year's wristband. Big fan. Good job, Barnaroo. Oh, here's my little cherry, my little cherry earring. So cute. So yeah, picture that. And then the bandana kind of pulls the blue in. I also have another pair of cherry shorts. Another thing to note, I do have tall white socks and chunky sneakers on with this outfit. So these shorts also have cherries on them, but I just feel like, I mean, they might tie the socks on together. These shorts are really cute on me, but I just don't know. I think I like the red ones better, even though these are a little bit more like flattering. So that's something we're gonna have to figure out. I also feel like these very much look like pajamas because I think they are. They these are from these are all from Pac Sun. I got the inspiration from this outfit when I was at Pac Sun. Um, we were walking around. I was like, oh my god, like cherry. Because I had strawberry, I was like, cherry. But not only cherry, but cherry coke. So I scoured the internet trying to find like cherry coke crop top. Like I think like, I thought there was going to be like a really cute one, but turns out that PacSun really did have the cutest one, I think. Then I started to see some at Urban Outfitters, but so I ordered like all of the cherry stuff they had. Yeah, so this concludes. I literally look like prison Mike right now. This concludes your outfit try-on haul. I made a huge mess in the entire house, so... I am going to clean it up now. I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's Bonnaroo prep. All right, y'all. I forgot my SD card in my camera, so I'm filming on my phone. But anyway, it's Friday. We are Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Three, day, three days out from leaving um, for Bonnaroo. And I'm about to get my nails done. Look at this shit. So the reason why, like, let me show you the other hand, like, they're super grown out from before, um, because I started taking a hair growth supplement, I started taking Nutrafol, so my nails are growing like freaking crazy, but we're about to get them done, and I'm going to show you, here's a little transition. I love them, they are perfect. So I got, I, what I asked for was like a cherry or Ferrari red with chrome. So Matthew always delivers if you're in Fort Lauderdale, nails by Matthew. So it's like really shiny. It's perfect. I'm like really tired. So just going to go home. We are going to do some Bonnaroo shopping later. So I'm going to put the SD card back in my camera so I can actually take my camera um, shopping. We're gonna go to, I think we're gonna go to Target tonight to get all of that stuff over with, which honestly, I think it's going to be a decent haul from Target for all of the Bonner stuff. So talk to you guys later. All right, guys, we are about to make a Target run for all of the Bonner stuff. So I'm gonna take you with me. It's essential to stay hydrated. So we got these sugar-free, Good out of these protein chips. All right, another essential earplugs, a must. It's super loud sleeping at night. Here we are. So we needed things like little Tupperwares. Um, we got plates, bowls, cups. We're just getting a bunch of Tupperware because there's not a lot of beef glass inside of Bonnaroo. And I don't know how strict, I mean, they're usually not very like, they don't look through your shit that well, so. But we still want plastic anyway. This is your update. Our cart is literally almost full. We gotta pick out some yummy drinks. I need, ooh, ooh, they don't have my favorite one though. See, these are the minis. See the minis? Another absolute essential, baby wipes. We are just about tapped out at Target in the baby aisle. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday. We are about to go get our hair done. So I got my braids done. Um, I've never, I've never met this girl before. It was like a recommendation of like a hair braider. So I'm excited. So we're gonna have to survive and try and keep these braids intact 
until obviously the festival starts so these braids will be in my hair for quite some time so today saturday and then till whenever i take them out so probably like the following monday or tuesday so yeah should be okay though we got a dark sport got a dark sport little situation and i had to straighten my hair straighten i straightened and washed my hair before the braids go in just to make it easier on the braider so not do like crazy curly hair so all right y'all we just got to the salon i had a little bit of trouble finding it but we're here now so and i'm like pushing it on time so here's your transition Okay, so I don't know what these little curly situations are. Um, first of all, oh, and then see the ends are curled too. And then she also did a zigzag pattern. I don't know how I feel, but I might take these curls out. I might have to cut them out. Um, but yeah, she, I, I really, I really do like, this is the first time I've been to like a braider that actually does this shit. So, but I'm a big fan of the zigzag and everything is plastered down so it should stay pretty well for for the festival so now we are on our way home we are going to do some more shopping for Bonnaroo when I get back okay so this is what it looks like after I cut those pieces out much better I still want to kind of like pull it out a little bit more because it's it's very flat to my head, but it's back. I don't think, yeah, I think we should be good. This shit's not moving. Okay, so I totally left my camera at home. I was supposed to take you guys with me, but we went to the mall to kind of Kind of just find some layers because we know that we're going to be cold at Bonnaroo. So um, I'll show you guys what I got. But we also went to Trader Joe's again because Andy ate all of the chomsticks that I got. All of them. So um, he had to replace those. And then we also got some other things that I will show you. So we got turkey, bacon for breakfast or maybe even putting on sandwiches because that's also good. I got blueberries and strawberries, two containers of those. So we're gonna wash those up. Berries are great micronutrients, low calorie, fiber. Got some avocados. I don't know if I will eat them here before we leave or on the trip. I don't know. Um, we got a shit ton of steaks because if you've watched my videos in the past, we like to really live large and we like to do steak and eggs like every single day. So we got like a lot of different kinds of steaks. We got sandwich stuff. This isn't for Bonnaroo. I might bring a few of these, but these are literally the best chicken burgers from Aldi's. Ingredients good, macros good, nice and lean, so we're gonna have these for dinner tonight. We got some salsa, some pico. All right, so we also got a shit ton of eggs, but I'm gonna take them out of this container because, pro tip, you cannot put a container like this in the cooler because it will disintegrate and then you'll have eggs floating everywhere. Said that last year too, but I just want to say it again. We're actually going to crack our eggs. I saw this on Facebook. So you're going to crack your eggs and like a funnel, I guess, into like a bottle, some sort of plastic bottle or something. Um, so And then you'll label it like, hey, 12 eggs is in here or something like that. So then you can kind of like dump half. So that's like, you know, three for whatever. Um, that's like kind of like a little tip that we're going to try. So we'll see how it works out. Got a lot of stuff for pasta salad, you guys. If you watch any of my videos again, you will know that I make a huge thing of pasta salad every year. Pro tip as well, like you can put tons of like protein in there, chicken, vegetables. Um, I use protein and lentil pasta, so you're getting fiber, also more more protein on top of that. Um, and then yeah, it's just and then tons of veggies, tons of veggies, cheese, like make it good. Um, we we take I take my own cold brew. Too because and then I add little I don't know if I showed you did I show you guys all the drinks I got yesterday I got like Fairlife shakes and I use that as my creamer so I use like half of one of those in my creamer so it turns into like a vanilla or a chocolate latte it's really good I always bring pickles just because more sodium and pickles are just good 
We got roasted red pepper hummus, a classic with some carrots, big ass cucumber for pasta salad, and then a thing of a thing of guac too. I wish it was chunky. I like the chunky one better. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the pants I got. So this is more gonna go with my Wednesday outfit, so the more like hippie-ish outfit. So I kind of wanted like hippie pants, so you can see they're flare at the bottom. And they're, they're honestly just really comfy. And I think they will look better than the, the parachute orange pants. I mean, those aren't those don't look bad either, but. And then just a plain black cropped jacket that you can barely see probably because it's so dark in here. But yeah, so just some layers, adding some options of layers that we can just throw in the locker. So I also recommend that, getting a locker at Bonnaroo, so then you can like go into the festival and not have to go back out to change because it's so cold. You can just take your shit, throw it in a locker, maybe a change of shoes or something to sit on because by the time nighttime hits, like who even cares what you look like, right? Hello vlog, it is Sunday now. We are out and about um, getting some last minute things. This morning, I've been prepping pasta salad all morning. Um, we had to go back to back to Trader Joe's because we keep buying the chopsticks and he keeps eating them every single night, like literally all of them. So we went back to Trader Joe's and we just went to public. So I'll give you a haul when we get, when we get back. But um, we're going to a local brewery to pick up a few because like I don't know we uh, we want a few like sour beers to take with us that maybe we would drink I don't know so we're going to pick up some of them because they're like literally the best sour beers you'll ever have all right we're back with another grocery haul I know I do a lot of hauls in this video but that's honestly what Bonnaroo prep is about so I have been looking for this this is kind of like a bodybuilder thing. Um, the diet soda, I never was a soda drinker before, but we occasionally like to have them every now and then. So I finally found the Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut Zero Sugar. So I'm gonna put, I probably obviously won't take this whole thing with me to Bonnaroo, but I'm gonna put one in the fridge for me now, or a few in the fridge for me now to try. I'm like really excited to try this. So also not a health food, not that good for you, but zero calorie sweetener for as like powdered sugar because I'm gonna make protein puppy chow. I'm gonna try and limit my uses of this just because it is erythritol, which is an artificial sweetener. And if you have too much erythritol, then you could get bloated and it does happen. So um, yeah, so we're gonna try and limit the usage of this and try and sweeten it mostly with the protein powder. Puppy chow, by the way, is kind of like Muddy Buddies, another word for Muddy Buddies. I did get some little protein yogurt, speaking of artificial sweeteners, like whatever. I got peach, or mango peach salsa for a little fun, funner salsa than pico. We got some icebreaker mints because they're fun to take in your fanny pack just to kind of have something. My brother's also bringing a bag of candy because that's another way that you can like make friends and also just like take into the festival. Some of the security stops you, but I'd be like, come on, like it's just a lollipop. This is the dressing we're going to be using for the pasta salad to Primal Kitchen. No seed oils here. So this is really cool. I found the ghost, ghost energy drink, but it's the the EDC uh, version of it. So they did like a special edition focus. The can is like really detailed, which I like, I love all the colors. It is electric limeade. So we'll see how that is. I do like sour energy drinks. So that's why I got this one, the sour apple. This one's my favorite, but we'll see how this one is. I'll, I will review it for you at the best one.
All right, you guys, it's like 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Actually, it's definitely like 7.30. But anyway, I've been cooking like all day, prepping stuff for Bonnaroo. So I'm gonna show you what I've made. Literally, no, I hit the camera. Literally, the fridge has never been so full before. We have buffalo chicken pasta salad. So lentil pasta, carrot celery, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, uh, the Primal Kitchen Ranch, and chicken. Uh, two pasta salads, and a bunch of sandwiches, turkey and turkey bacon sandwiches. And we have protein puppy chow, recipe in my Instagram. And we cut watermelon. We also cut strawberries and blueberries. All right, guys, we are officially packing the car. It is time to go soon. So we're packing the cooler right now, which is honestly one of the hardest parts, just fitting everything in, which I think we should be good. We should be fine. We have everything I cooked yesterday. We froze the steaks, putting, putting in the drinks and everything. Like I was saying before, I put a bunch of eggs in water bottles, already scrambled, so there's like two dozen eggs right there. So I already packed us oats for tomorrow's breakfast, so protein oats with banana. Ready, car is all packed up. Honestly, we have a decent amount of room left, like compared to previous years driving with four people. Um, you know what I'm gonna do really quickly? I'm gonna check my bags inside my purses just to see if there's nothing in there. I made a Ninja Creamy for the ride, but I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, you guys, since we're literally on our way to Bonnaroo, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and immediately start the actual Bonnaroo vlog. So thank you for watching the Get Ready With Me for Bonnaroo vlog. Yeah, watch the next video. I will see you soon.